Happy birthday to uh, Carl and happy birthday to Dean, but you guys are very lucky because you share a birthday with another individual who happens to be in the room and that's Abraham Lincoln. Woo! Yeah. Happy birthday, fellas. Four score and 103 years ago, Lucius Austin brought forth in this county a new academy conceived in academic preparation and dedicated to the proposition that all young men should be educated differently. Now, we are engaged in a bout of cabin fever, testing whether that student body or any student body so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met in a great tundra of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of this winter, not as a final resting place for joy and happiness, but a place where students can be a part of records being set in both low temperatures and the amount of snow days being used by the lesser willed public schools or Gary Leslie. <laughs> it is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this winter. The brave students current and graduated who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget how cold it was. It is for us, the current student body, rather to be dedicated here to the never-ending winter which who have fought here have so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us from these cold and frigid days, we have increased devotion to that cause for which they gave their last full measure of happiness. That here, we highly resolve that these bored souls have not wasted their time in their rooms at this academy under Mr. Vines, shall have a new birth of friendship and warmth. And that Grand River Academy of the students, by the students, for the students shall not be bored from cabin people. Oh,